Milton! Already Milton! Why are you so bad? Bubby! Milton! Hey guys, I'm watching Matt and Mega. And I decided to check my blood sugar. I bought another blood sugar monitor. The Keto Mojo is great, but I mean, the strips are really expensive. And when I just want to test my blood sugar, you know, you can get a blood glucose monitor at Walmart for $20. So I got this at Meyer, and now I haven't eaten anything, so I just want to test what it is. My blood sugar is 73. I am very okay with that. Uh, I generally like to be under 75 in the morning, so I haven't eaten anything, and that's just a sign that I am doing well, eating low carb, probably in ketosis with a blood sugar this low. Not sure when I'm gonna eat. I might crack open an ice drink or drink some Powerade or something like that. Let me go see what's in the refrigerator. I'm gonna sip on some of this black raspberry ice drink. And then I might test my blood sugar again about an hour, an hour and a half and see what this does. I'd actually be really interested in knowing the effects of sucralose and maybe Ace K. Like, I really don't like Ace K, but no, just sucralose. So maybe about eight ounces of this and I'll let you know what it does. Oh, that's good. Okay, it has been about an hour since I've had eight ounces of that ice drink. So now I'm gonna test again. Wow, okay, 70. <laughs> That's amazing that my blood sugar actually went down, meaning that the ice drink had essentially no impact, and I'm very pleased about that. <laughs> Just to let me know that, you know, it's not having too bad of an impact if I drink one and a half of those a day. I am very pleased and now I'm also kind of obsessed with testing my blood sugar so I should stop <laughs> and I'll be eating something here soon and I'll let you know what it is. Okay guys, I have an off-site meeting that I have to run to. Uh, so for a quick meal on the go, I'm having an Atkins bar. Part of me like really bad wants to take my blood sugar after doing this, but like I'm gonna calm down. <laughs> so I am going to enjoy my Atkins bar and then this will probably hold me over to the afternoon before I eat anything else. Here it is looking all chocolate coated and delicious. Mm. Oh geez. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm going to attempt to eat my stuffed peppers. To be honest, I've never really done anything like this before and so it's all very confusing to me but it looks good and it smells good. Like I don't even know how to eat it. Like part of me wants to pick it up like a taco. Part of me wants to use a knife and fork. Like I'm gonna try to knife and fork it and like cut a piece of the pepper off and then let you know what I think. Firstly, I'm gonna try the meat. The meat itself is really good. I use the cream and the marinara, so it's like pizza meat. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this bad boy down the middle. Overall, really good. Definitely gonna add more salt. The, the green pepper is thick, so you know how vegetables could always use more salt. So I'm going to add some salt, give it a taste. So this is great. I am going to eat this. My meal prep called for two halves or basically one whole green pepper, but that looks like a lot of food. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish the whole thing, but I'm gonna eat this and I'll let you know what I have after. Okay guys, I'm done with my stuffed pepper. I'm actually quite full and not gonna lie, most of the pepper is still on the plate. I just ended up eating the filling. I did take a couple of bites of the pepper. I'm gonna finish off my black raspberry ice drink and then I'll have something in a bit. Something I haven't done in a while that I did recently and once again was like, I love doing this, was have a piece of gum. I haven't had gum in a while, but this past week I started having it and it really helps give me that dessert feeling without needing to eat or drink anything. Like right now after this, I'm like, okay, that was good, but honestly I'd really like something sweet thing is, I've already had my Atkins bar today and 
my only other sweet option is going to be my jello coming up but i like to reserve that for after my second meal so i'll just have a piece of trident gum this is spearmint and it just gives me that refreshing feeling of okay the meal is done this is satisfying don't eat until later so i'm gonna have this and then i'll have probably have some water that this also tastes really good just with water so i'm gonna have some water and then i'll eat later okay guys i was on a lot of meetings back to back so i am just now eating i am having my chicken fried rice chicken fried rice cauliflower i put some sriracha and some sesame seeds on it it looks good let's see how it tastes almost forgot i got some green onions too so i'm definitely gonna put a serving on there it tastes really good it has a fair amount of spice between the jalapeno and the chili sauce i put in there yesterday i really like it so i have scrambled egg and onion in here i really might look at the frozen vegetables next time just to see how much throwing in you know maybe a cup of peas and carrots to the whole recipe what that would do in terms of carb count but this is great okay guys final meal of the day i am having two jellos and cream soda zevia okay so i'm not eating anything after this so that wraps up today thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel watch autumn keto i make weekly meal preps weekly weigh-ins hmm i make weekly will hmm I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, and monthly weigh-ins. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.